Good morning, GMS. I'm Grant. And I'm Griffin. This is the GMS news show for the week of March 13th, 2023. If you're not interested in band or choir next year, you can email Ms. Marshall. It applies for 6th or 7th graders. Any boy or girl in 6th through 8th grade who likes whistle. There are games every Sunday from 2 to 4 at the high school in the activity complex, and it's free. Hey students, don't forget to get your yearbook at www.yearbookforever.com. If you're in sixth grade and interested in camp invention this summer, it's June 19th the 23rd. It costs $260 at ISOM from 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Go to invent.org slash camp to register today. Have a good week, Jameis. Now let's go to Top Trending. Welcome to Top Training, where we share the top and weird stories of the week. I'm Jada. And I'm Adam. Let's get started. According to Good News Network, three-year-old Waylon Saunders arrived at a hospital and was considered legally dead. He was found face down in an icy swimming pool. The toddler's body temperature was so low that the paramedics' thermometers couldn't get a reading. A team at Jonah Elenco Hospital in Antonio Odiano performed CPR for 40 hours without stopping. Fortunately for Waylon, after three hours of compressing his chest to artificially pump blood to his brain, another organ well and all was restarted. For our next story, 62-year-old Roy Link found a lost toddler in the woods. Immediately after Roy entered the forest, he heard a whimper. As it got louder, he spotted the toddler about 100 feet away. Joshua Rowland was found standing barefoot in a grassy, grassy area yelling for his mother. He was found about two miles north of his home. Joshua's mother told investigators that she and a child were taken up around 9.30 a.m. And when she woke up, the toddler was gone. Roy said that he planned on fishing Friday morning, but that changed when his wife told him that, that the Hadiano County Sheriff's Office was looking for volunteers to, to search for Joshua. And it was about 15 minutes before finding Joshua that Roy had prayed that the boy would be found alive. That's it for Top Training. Have a good week, GMS. Welcome to GMS Sports. I'm Cameron. Let's get started. Tuesday, March 14th, 2023, Greenwood County Diving starting at 5.30 at Indian Creek. Wednesday, March 15th, 2023, Greenwood County Swimming starting at 5.30 at Indian Creek. That's all for this week's sports. Good morning, students. You might think you know what it takes to lead a happier life. Having perfect grades, being popular, having a lot of friends, having a lot of followers and likes on social media. Well, you're wrong. Yale professor Dr. Lori Santos has studied the science of happiness and found that many of us do the exact opposite of what will, what will truly make our lives better. This group is not gonna be a group to vent problems. This is gonna be a group that you can actually learn new techniques to help you improve your mood. Please join us for the journey to happiness. We will be offering a group after spring break. It will meet at 7.15 before school on Thursday mornings for six weeks. Listen to announcements for more information. Welcome to GMS Roll Call, I'm Lacey, and today we are asking students, what are you going to do over spring break? What I'm going to do for spring break is I'm going to play and go to the baseball field and I'm going to play a lot of baseball. Uh, I'm going to go on spring break, I'm going to play games, that's what I'm going to do. What I'm doing for spring break is I'm going out with my family, spending a lot of time with my family because I didn't really do that last spring break, and yeah. Over spring break, I'm going to um, watch TV. Over spring break, I'm going to try and move to Alaska and play Fortnite. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go to the field house and play volleyball with my friends the whole time. For spring break, I'm going to go salmon fishing on Lake Michigan. All right, uh, for spring break, I'm going on a cruise. I don't even know where we're going, but yeah. What I'm going to do on spring break, I'm 
I'm serious here. <laughs> I'm going to work at Home Depot, the big orange. I'm going to make millions of dollars. And I'm going to buy me a dog. <laughs> That's what I'm doing over spring break. Hello, GMS. Welcome to Weather This Week. Now, I know you're watching at WTHR. And I just got to say thank you. I did not expect this to go this far. I just kind of randomly in like our first class, I'm like, we should add another part of the news show. And we did. I thought of whether it worked. Thank you all. Also, a guy named Spencer uh, said I could shout him out, so I'm shouting him out. If you want to be in the weather, you can just ask me. I'm a convenient person. I got 6th, 7th, and 8th grade classes, so anyone of any grade can ask me. Anyway, let's look at the forecast for this week. This is the week of March 13th to March 17th. On Monday, we have a high of 35 and a low of 25. It'll be snowing, so make sure you wear your coat. And you might want to wear a hood because that snow can get wet, and it can also ruin your things. So, like, if you have a phone out or something, if it has a case, it'll be fine. But uh, wind, 17 miles per hour, precipitation, six, uh, 66%. Now, on Tuesday, it will get warmer, but not by much. But you don't really need a coat, so uh, yeah, that's better. And the precipitation will be low. The wind will be pretty in. You probably need to wear like a jacket, like the one I normally wear on this show. Wednesday, it's getting a little warmer. You could probably go outside with like a, just a sweatshirt. Uh, very little wind or precipitation. Thursday, there is a little bit of a chance of precipitation and some wind, but it will be warmer and uh, the low will also be warmer. Like it's not gonna be that cold at night or anything. And for Friday, you might need to wear your coat again because it's gonna rain. And you might wanna wear it like over your head like this because it's gonna rain. And you might want an umbrella because the rain, it's gotta be fierce. 70% 12 mile per hour wind, 45 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 28. It will be kind of warm, but the rain's going to come in like a shark. So make sure you got something to like protect you from the rain. That's all for weather this week.